Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today, I am going to list few of the important AWS machine learning services and explain how they can be implemented in property and casualty insurance. Again, this session is going to be a overview session, but in the coming sessions, I will take each of this service and explain that at a high level and at the same time explain how these services can be implemented for PNC insurance use cases. Now, you may have a valid question, right? People are talking about generative AI, right? Is it going to have value in starting with machine learning? Please understand that we always have to start with basics. Basics are, are going to be our foundations that will help us to learn complex topic easily. In real time, say you learn to drive a bicycle and then you learn two-wheeler and then you learn car, right? When you do that, your driving skills are going to be very good. Whereas without driving, knowing how to drive a bicycle or two-wheeler, if you directly learn car, you can do it, but you may not be very much effective. Similar to that, it's always good to learn basics of machine learning and deep learning followed by generative AI. Now, <clears throat> coming to this topic, right? What are the important services that you know of in machine learning, right? First and foremost, machine learning, most of us know, it's a concept where machines predict what is the outcome based on the data that it have learned from, right? So that's high level machine learning. AWS, they have their own list of services. To start with, the first service is S3, Simple Storage Service. This service is where you can store any object. It can be image or it can be data or it can be JSON. Any kind of data can be stored in this service. And we will see more in detail about the how S3 can be implemented within PNC insurance in coming, coming sessions. And what is Kinesis? It is a real-time data streaming service. For example, if you are driving a car, you have a device to monitor your driving habit. This can be sent to the insurance companies through this real-time streaming services like Kinesis. Again, we will talk more in detail in the coming sessions, but at a high level, this is what is called as Kinesis. Glue, it's a ETL service, extract, transform, load, where you take the data, you do some kind of transformation, and you load that into the required you know, data stores. <coughs> Glue is a very important service for machine learning. We'll see more the, in the coming sessions. Quick sites, again, this is a more of a reporting tool where you will be able to take the data and then play with that and see more visual data, kind of visualizations like Instagram, etc., so that you can make informed decisions. Feature engineering, a very critical concept in machine learning, right? Most of the data that you use for machine learning is will be in the raw format, right? Like when you say raw format, it's outdated or some, some data set will have missing data. Feature engineering is a concept where you do use techniques to clean the data so that it is in a very good format to be used for machine learning. We'll see more in detail on how it can be used in PNC insurance domain. Convolutional neural network. This is more of you know, image related one where you feed in an image it has mechanism to read that image. For example, if you feed image cat, and it can say, reading that image, this is a cat, this is a dog, right? It's related to image processing. And when it comes to recurrent neural network, it is text-based. You pass in a text, it can summarize the text or classify the text, etc., etc. Again, as I told you, in this session, I just wanted to highlight few of the important services. But in the coming sessions, I will take each of the service and then explain you in detail and say how this can be mapped to PNC insurance use cases. Now, these are some of the services. As I told you, I will not list all the services. It's like, you know, I wanted to start with important services, but gradually we'll cover most of the services. Now, the second thing is SageMaker algorithms. For those who do not, does not understand about SageMaker, it's a machine learning kind of you know, platform where you have some built-in algorithms that you can use and customize it accordingly. To start with, we do have some built-in algorithms related to classification 
and regression. What is classification? Say you feed in an email to the machine learning algorithm, you can say it is a spam or not, right? That's classification, right? You can do even multiple classification for that case. Regression is like you feed in a particular house, it can say what is the future estimated price of this house based on the data that has how many number of rooms, etc. So it's going to calculate the value, estimated futuristic value. Now, we have algorithms like linear learner, XG boost, KNN, factorization machines, all those things again, as I told you, I'm not going to talk about each of the service in today's session. I'll take each algorithm and explain that in detail in the coming session and then say what kind of PNC use cases can be used for each of this kind of no algorithms. Again, we have some algorithms related to computer vision, image classification, object detection, semantic segmentation, and uh, we have some algorithms related to anomaly, like you pass in a particular text and it can say this is having some kind of no data that is not in a good condition or this is having some data that can impact the system, etc. Topic modeling, like you have LD and uh, no neural topic modeling where this can take the text and then based on the text it can make different topics like for example if you have a text of you know, newsletters it can say this belongs to kind of you no know, sports this text or this news belongs to entertainment etc text related sequence to sequence blazing text all those things are like example sequence to sequences you pass in your text the end result can be a summarized text, right? So something like that, all text related uh, algorithms, forecasting, right? You have historical data, forecasting data, based on that it can say what is the future price, like for stocks, right? The last 20, 20 years or 10 years, this was a stock price and it can say next six months, this will be stock price, future predicted stock price. Clustering, like no, basically you wanted to cluster the data based on its data points, right? Like you have, say, so many number of stores in the area, you wanted to cluster it by region, right? Say 10 stores in this area will be tagged under region A, region B, region C. We have algorithms like k-means. As I told you, all these are very basic algorithms. I'll be taking like linear learner, right? And explaining what is linear learner. And then I will also tell you how it can be used for PNC by taking a couple of use cases. But this session is something to give a high level overview what is going to come in the future sessions. Now these are all some of the algorithms. In <clears throat> addition to this, AWS have built in ML services which can be directly used without any customization, not much customizations. So one of them are like comprehend, right? Like you pass in the data and it can say in the text what are the high level entities. For example, if the text has organization like Amazon, it can say this is an organization, right? And uh, all those, you know, sima all those uh, entity identification or anything like, you no know, kind of, you no know, segregating the data and saying that this is a good data, this is a bad data, all those things can be done by comprehend. Translate, right? You give a particular text in a language like, you no know, French and then it can translate that into English, right? Similarly, other way. Transcribe, right? You give uh, audio or video data and it can translate that into text so that you can record that for future reference. Poly is other way, right? You give a text data and it can translate that into images or video or somebody can talk based on the text data virtually. Recognition is a service where you pause in the image. You can say, is this image a good one or bad one? or what kind of data this image is going to explain, right? Based on the image, it can give some statistics, right? That is this image contains some sensitive data, or is this image contains some important information, etc. <coughs> Forecasting, as I told you, it's going to forecast the futuristic data based on the past historical data. Let's, it's an important service that is kind of more of chatbot, as most of you know, Alexa, right? You pass in the data elements and it can using the natural language processing, it can read and learn the data and then give you useful data. Personalize is more of Amazon and personalize, right? Based on your historical purchase or something, it can recommend you what kind of products that you may like, right? It's personalized service. Kendra is a kind of you no know, document service where you 
where you kind of know give your keywords and it will search the entire document and say that this keyword is related to a specific topic right it's more of got document search criteria where if you type in something it will go to the specific share point and say that this document contains the information that you need again as i told you this is a very high level service but in the future services i want to take each of the services and tell you how it can relate to pnc insurance domain right for so example if you take transcribe right like how an image maybe a climbs image can be converted into or climbs video right if somebody have given a climbs information so a person who witnessed the climb you have talked about how the accident happened you can convert that video or audio file into a text using transcribe i'm just giving example so i'll be doing the same thing for each of the services in the future sessions as i told you this is my new try please give me a feedback in your comment section if you feel that this kind of videos will going to be helpful that will help me to prepare my future sessions thank you thanks on thank you all